And I, I have yet to see a man, like, ruin his family because of infidelity and be the same mm-hmm. yeah. person after that. Either they become a better human, but there's always that regret. There's always that hole. And I wish that that's the conversation us as men should have. Like, instead of being the adult that my dad was to me telling me, like, oh, you only got one girlfriend? One day you gonna understand. I'd rather be the dude that said, hey, man, when I started, like, devoting myself to my wife, like, literally committing myself to my wife, I'm not cheating, I'm not doing nothing else, and I'm going to therapy, and I'm doing the work on myself. Bro, look at my life the last six, seven years. I, I came up in every way, like, every way, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, everything. So it's yeah. just like, why not tell those stories, you know, to young men? So I think that's what we, we should use situations like just to be teachable moments to right. tell those stories, you know, the young men. Let me tell you something about Charlemagne. Charlemagne is really good people. I don't care what nobody says about him as far as all the things he's done on interviews and for shock value and all that stuff. Every time I run across Charlemagne, Charlemagne always showed love to me. And uh, he's always been a very selfless person. And he's the per- type of person that would take the shirt off his back. All of us are flawed. When I sat back and I looked at the comments, a lot of people in the comments were saying, well, damn, what was he doing before? And they put the little side, I think. And the thing is out here, man, look, we all human beings, we all ain't shit. Yeah, I'm gonna put us all in that cluster. We all ain't shit to some damn degree. We done all did something in life where you should have got judged for it. And God brought you through and you're living another day to get it right. But what he's saying is absolutely True, I may not be from a marriage perspective, but when you have somebody in your corner, you have a a bond and a structure going on and a family unit, people that actually genuinely love you. When you put away all those childish things, man, things will begin to prosper for you. Things will unfold and unravel for you. And you will start to understand that, look, man, all that clown stuff I was doing in the streets, that stuff really doesn't matter because what really matters the most is when you come home and you're able to be around somebody who you genuinely love who don't want nothing from you. All they want is you and all they want to do is build. And yes, this is a conversation that a lot of us should have with our son. Uh, They already have it with their daughters, but I think that all of us should have these conversations, especially men and young men and, and boys. This is the type of conversation that we should have often. The sad part about it is these days, the women are so goddamn masculine that I don't blame these little dudes out here for doing what they do, especially when you're young. When you're young, you're supposed to explore. And on one end, a woman want a guy that's that's monogamous and everything, and that's cool. But at the end of the day, that ain't how the game unravel on either side of the spectrum, especially when you're young, because you're out here trying to play the fence. You don't understand what's going on. You're testing the waters. You don't know who doing what. You don't know what's really going on. You're testing the waters to figure out who you are as a person. So on one end, you wanna, uh, you, you wanna bask with the person who you're with, but on the other end, especially if you're young, you have to understand that, hey, don't you want somebody with experience? And if not, then y'all gotta figure that junk out together. But long story short, you find peace. Your life will begin to prosper and elevate and evolve when you learn how to let go of the world, learn how to let go of the streets and put all that focus into your unit into your unit now if it's a little girlfriend or boyfriend that you're hitting it off with hey do you do whatever you do um i don't really know what your program is but this absolutely goes towards people it goes for people who are married and i would say serious 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 relationship because all you're gonna do is get yourself in trouble ain't nothing out here in these streets bro ain't nothing out here in these streets all you're gonna do is get yourself in trouble a lot of y'all be on dating sites, being each other DM, uh, messing with each other all on, on Facebook and all these different social media platforms, taking these people out to eat, wasting your money, getting headaches, catching all kinds of diseases and stuff, and you ain't getting nothing out of it. It might be all fun and games in the beginning, but it ain't cool. It ain't, ultimately it's not cool. Um, I truly believe that when you bask with your unit and you actually put all those things away and you get away from the world and focus on just y'all alignment, when both of y'all are doing y'all thing, ain't no BS going on, I genuinely believe that relationships can thrive. It can only go up, man. Y'all might have y'all ups and downs, but it can only go up.
So what y'all think about this right here, man? Shout out to Charlemagne for putting this information out there. And shout out to the, to the Pivot Podcast for uh, allowing Charlemagne on the platform to give us this type of game, to give us these type of vibration and words and wisdom. Because even though it's not talked about a lot, it should be talked about. And uh, I appreciate game like this. Much love.